Occupational Hazards is a very dark noir set in Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, it follows a newspaper reporter, Bernard Coburn, um, as he stumbles onto what starts out as a very lame story and it blows up into something very big and crazy. Simultaneously, his home life is uh, crumbling and things get very bad. I picked the newspaper uh, setting, basically uh, kind of fell out of the old writing saw that, you know, write what you know. Um, and I used to work at a very small, understaffed, scrappy, alternative news weekly in Omaha, Nebraska, which was a great experience and sort of gave me a lot of great material that I hopefully used well in the novel. Well, my background is primarily in journalism. I've worked as an editor, as a reporter, um, and what I learned uh, in doing that is, you know, word economy, uh, keeping a narrative moving quickly, uh, not wasting time on adverbs, for instance, um, and also just the discipline of, of every day sitting down and writing, because you, uh, at a newspaper, you have a hole to fill every day, and if it's, if there are no words there, you don't have a newspaper. So, you know, dedication and uh, word economy. <laughs> I get asked this a lot, um, or actually people just assume normally that, that uh, I am the narrator and the narrator is me, but that's not true. Actually, um, I'm a little bit more of a, of a pessimist probably, and I drink more. But uh, there isn't a lot of me, I mean, there, there's some in there, I mean, he likes the same music I like. Um, and, you know, we both hate pleated pants. What I'd like readers to take away from the novel uh, is is a good understanding of my narrator, Byrne. Hopefully what he does, he grows on, on the reader and the reader starts to understand him and eventually root for him. And I, I think that that's what good fiction should do, is give you an understanding of people who might not be like you or might not do things you like or, or act the way you think they should act. I think book groups would have a good time arguing and or talking about um, the, uh, the morality or lack thereof, I think especially in the part of the narrator. He, he isn't your typical uh, narrator or, or, for lack of a better word, hero. Um, he's complicated um, and, you know, not immediately approachable. And I, and I think that a lot of readers have grappled with that, um, which is what I've heard. And uh, hopefully they come away with a better understanding of how he is and how the world is.